Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorials. You are watching Mainframe TV2 Practicals. So, uh, to today's video is uh, about uh, uh, connecting to a uh, DV2 subsystem from a mainframe and we'll, start, we'll try to uh, do some queries operations on a DV2 subsystem. So, so that is how do we connect to a DV2 from mainframe and we are going to show you about the spoofy uh, tool. I mean with the help of spoofy so we are trying to going to connect to the DV2 and we are trying to do a query operation so so in my last video i have explained about how do we connect to the db2 from mainframe using qmf so this video is completely about a spoofy so let's go ahead and see so before uh, before going to the main um, before going to the spoofy panel so what we need to do is we either you need to create a pds or ps for entering a query uh, data sets and uh, you need to create other ps for uh, for i mean partition set data set for storing uh, uh, results okay uh, for uh, for entering a query either you need to create a pds or ps but for storing the results you need to create a ps file okay now let's go ahead and see uh, now let's go ahead and connect to the main terminal and see how do we go through spoofy and how do we enter queries and how do we see the results so in this video i would like to show you how do we create how do we retrieve and how do we insert a data into the table okay the same like uh, we did for qmf okay so now in the now you have kind of entered into connected to the mainframe terminal and you can uh, you are into the ispf primary option menu and in this you can see a different options like settings views edit utilities foreground batch command and so there are different options available here earlier we have i have shown you uh, the qmf option now this video is about a spoofy so i'm going to enter 15 uh, and this 15 you can see a spoofy or as an option over here so in order to process this sql statement so we go for spoofy not only we have this very we have different other functions like uh, dcl gen program operation pre-compile bind run db2 commands and other utilities db2 i defaults and the qmf you can also log in through with this screen with this option so now just uh, this video is completely about the spoofy so spoofy function so i would just enter just i will be showing only on spoofy so maybe in in my coming videos i can sh i can show you about th these di different options okay so now we'll connect to the spoofy so before to this uh, just make sure your data set has been you you have already created your data sets or not so if not just uh, just try to verify like uh, uh, you have uh, you have created your uh, data sets okay see i have created my data set i already created the input data set and also uh, the output data set i have created these two data sets okay what the properties you need to use like it should be like fp 8800 uh, and in the same way you can show like a vp Oh, I mean, uh, but the output, the output will. Even though if you create this data sets with the 80, so when you store the output, it will get the data set gets changed. So better to use input. So even if you won't create the output data set, so by default, the it will create it. So it it it's an option like if you create it or not. Okay. So now, um, uh, now uh, here you need to mention. Uh, here you need to mention. To, I'll go back here. I'll just press Option One Spoofy, and enter it. Okay. So you have to specify your data set name input and your data set output data set. Okay. So here you can see a uh, output data set, and if you are already cataloged, no, don't don't give this any option. So, so this will be all by default. Just press again enter button. Okay, just enter. So now you can see you are into an enter. Okay, so your data set is empty now. So what we'll do is what is the first step we have? Uh, we have successfully created these two data sets okay then we need to create a table the create table name is student 4 with the fields like student name and student ib and the data type as character and integer okay let's go ahead and see how do we create a table so just create 
table student 4 what are the fields I have like student name which is of character of 20 bytes and student ID which is of integer type in database database and the table space okay now you have successfully entered your query so how do we run this just press f3 okay now it says like edit session has been completed press enter to continue just press enter so you see you can see that your message has been stored into this table i mean into the output so here you can see create table student name uh, has in in this you, this is your query and the statement execution was successful and so the SQL code is zero that means the table has been successfully created and the successful log message a commit has been a commit has been performed and the SQL code is zero statement execution was successful and SQL code is zero so far you can see this uh, these are the different log message generated by running this query that is SQL statement associated between column one and seven so that's what it is mentioning and number of input records read is 2 and total number of records written that is total number of records written in this area in this data set is 13 so that's how it works so now once again in order to run any other queries so just press F3 and enter so that you can get, come back to the screen so now I wanted to comment this uh, so what is the difference between uh, QMF and Spoofy is like uh, in QMF you cannot store the queries you are running or you cannot store the results you are running so by using sp sp Spoofy you can store the queries whatever you are running in this data set and, and also you can store the results of the query that has ran into the output data set so that's the benefit of this and you can take an action based on the uh, based on the storage and it can be a permanent right so whenever you log off your system and when you log in just you can see like what are the queries i have been practiced today and it is better to use spoofy if you are practicing your queries okay so i mean just for a simple test or just for a normal test one time one time test it go for a qmf and just test it and just come back so if you are practicing a lot then it's better practice to use spoofy and just practice it so so now we have successfully created a table and just i wanted to cross check or verify whether the table has been successfully created and uh, with the fields so select star from std4 okay and just uh, you have one uh, you have two options over here so uh, either by pressing f3 and enter you can uh, you can see the output so I mean this is one way of seeing the outputs that is student name student ID has been uh, okay you see you uh, the query has been retrieved so I can see student name student ID and student names there are no records so since I haven't entered any in records that is I haven't inserted any records into the table so that's the reason I cannot see any data inside the table okay so just press F3 okay enter so this is one way of seeing the output other way is just q3 or two or three semicolons and just type f3 press f3 so that you can go through this or if you want to go back to the queries area just press the three three colons and uh, semicolons and uh, press f3 so that you will come back to your query screen so this is to go move forward and backward so either you can go with option one or option two so now i want to enter a records so how do we enter a records so insert into table okay so student name comma student id and values i want to queue oh, something like cloud or something okay cloud student id mm, you can do any uh, anything any any other name just uh, i will try to give some uh, cobol or something else cobol okay and number is one zero one zero three okay okay just you have entered it so in order to run this query it's just give three hyphens and just press f3 button function key on the keyboard see 
number of rows affected is inserted insert into this this is the query we ran and it says the number of rows affected is one statement execution was successful and sql code is zero that means that record has been successfully ran and sql statement assume these are the different logs you can see so it means that our record has been successfully executed and load it into our table that is a table std4 so as i know that that query has been successfully executed and the record has been successfully inserted now i want to verify or retrieve the records from the table so what is the query we use we use select star from std4 give three hyphens press f3 yes you can see what are the records i have been entered so i can retrieve this record so i retrieve the data so not only this i want to enter a few more records so so how to do that so insert something something Satish okay three F three see number of rows affected treatment execution was successful SQL code is zero okay now go back and another enter another record Okay, and I'll press F3. See, now you have entered affected one, successful execution zero. Go back uh, and now try to retrieve or select the records. Okay, uh, S E L E. Okay, F3. See. I have entered, uh, I have entered three records that is Koval, Satish, Jono, and uh, these are the different ids uh, for the retrieval so in this way we can work we can work with the db2 by connecting to the mainframe terminal with the help of subspoofy so so far we have connected to the mainframe terminal uh, and we have connected from mainframe we have connected to the db2 subsystem with the help of spoofy uh, and uh, what else we did we created the two uh, pds or ps two data sets two data sets one is for querying and another is for storing the results then we connected to spoofy and uh, we have created a table with uh, the student four with the following fields and data types and then we insert few records into the table and finally we have retrieved the records from the table so that's how for this today's video if you like this video kindly subscribe to my youtube channel for more and more alerts to your inbox thank you so much for watching have a great and pleasureful day